So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So Adam 16 at No Jumper thought it wise to disrespect the homie Pope and the homies from Hoover, man, like he did. Spelling it out is saying it, dude. There are many people who are saying they would have took off on the spot. Now, them homies did the right thing taking off as they did, but the whole interview was sus. The way you laugh and joke, the way you lead into it, the way you lean into it, you intended to do that. That's not good journalism. Those questions have absolutely nothing to do with that man's career. Nothing. A person that's a rapper, he has no need to answer no questions about no gang activity when he's promoting his artistry, not his gang. So Adam turns on Hoover and puts on neighborhood, brings on Hoover just to disrespect both. Now, don't forget that he brought on the gay Hoover Crip and clown, clown Crip Mac and Brick Baby. He made them all look so sus to be sitting there together. Not only does Crip Mac have that tattoo on his forehead sitting across and claiming to be homophobic, but he's sitting across from one who he uses that disrespectful term. That's the first person I heard say it. And to have them all up there playing that game like a puppet master. Like a straight up puppet master and getting all this payday off of these play things. No one from Hoover should go there, dude, under no circumstances after this. There should be no, no enemy of anyone who's on that channel should go there and protest. Because if ain't nobody going to go there and give no interviews because you know what he's worth, he's going to set you up. He asks federal questions, suspect questions that can lead law enforcement. And then he plays hood politics and plays games. He, disrespect, he disrespected Hoover, man. He disrespected it by spelling it. When somebody tags it on the wall, what is it? It's exactly what he did, spelled out. Adam 16 spelled out the disrespect as if he was tagging it on the wall. And look at, look at the way he smiles and smirks about it. <laughs> How long are people going to continue to go there and play footsies with a pedophile? Why isn't anybody interested in interviewing Lil Pump and questioning that? Nobody wants to get to that, right? Nobody wants to get to the bottom of it. Keep egging Adam on. He'll keep egging them on. And we all can co-create content, huh? All up on the come up, huh? At the disrespect of who now? At the, at the disrespect of the, of the Hoovers, the Groovers. Think about the way he's playing one side against each other. Everybody realizes that. He picks the most controversial of them. And what does he do? It has nothing to do with, with their artistry or anything like that. He goes straight in on the most controversial of subjects and pits one against the other and plays them against each other for the content value. Everybody knows the game. That's the game. If you, listen, never mind what you say when you get there. You should have known that before you got there, you were going to get played into that. Before you even go there, you should know that you're going to get played into that. 
So what, what's the point when you're going to have to stonewall so much? You should, there ain't no point talking about no beef with nobody else. Why you going to go online banging? Why you going to go on somebody's platform and do all that? Unless that's what you're doing for the clicks. Unless it's just all internet banging. This is what it's come to. As deadly as it has become. Shit. They got us playing each other like fools like this. But watch that interview. Watch Adam's laugh. Listen to his laughs and his, look at his smirks. But he disrespected, he disrespected Hoover and, and neighborhood in the worst of ways by his show this time around. Neighborhood and, and, and Hoover's look really bad the way he played that, dude. Now, that's no disrespect, bro. It's not because I know that's not those hoods, dude. I know, I know what percentages stand in each hood, dude. I know that there's, 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 all that in every hood. But when it comes to going on a platform to promote oneself and one's artistry, people need to stick to that. Quit playing this gang shit online. Quit trying to be a fucking thug online. Quit trying to be a super gangster online. There's too much of that. But Adam-22 spout out Hoover's disrespect as he did. He spouted it out. He hit it up on the wall. So every content creator, he knew that. He knew every content creator who wanted clickbait titles would put that in the title. That's how disrespectful he was in that. And there's already been content creators that put that out there. He spouted it out like he did on a wall and now everybody's writing it out for you. Go there and get played like that some more again. Peace and I'm out.